you know, we all are forced to study history in school as kids. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You lived history. Yes, well, I did. What was that like? What was it like to live important American history? I think we never thought of it as that. It was from the very beginning, we called it a social experiment. And we agreed with Mr. Ricky that we were trying something new that needed to be done in the society. And it wasn't so much about Jackie Robinson. He was the instrument. The other thing that was very personal for us, we had been engaged for five years and we had agreed not to get married until I graduated from college and he got a job. You know, you mentioned Ricky, who was Branch Ricky, who ran, yes. ran the Brooklyn Dodgers. And I always wondered, was he that magnanimous an individual? Uh, not to be cynical here. Or do you think, well, maybe we'll sell a few tickets you know, to some oh, minority baseball fans? No, he was um, a, a very committed person and a very seriously committed person. So he wanted to see change take place, mm -hmm. and he wanted to be a part of that. So it was, it was wonderful to work with him because of his attitude and because it was not just, you know, let's make a little more money or let's give me a little more glory. It had to do with changing the society. You're wearing the button of 42 yes. from the movie. Yes. I take it then that the movie you liked and it was accurate. I love it. it, it it's two things that I had asked for. One, it is authentic, but it also is inspiring. And that's what I wanted, I wanted it to be. Uh, and it's certainly that way. I'm just getting uh, a lot of correspondence from children and teachers and parents who've taken children to see it. And they're coming back and talking about their own lives and w what's good and what's bad about it. And it opened up a lot of dialogue. And I'm very, very happy about that. Was there a rebirth of interest in Jackie Robinson and conversely your Jackie Robinson Foundation? Oh yes, it, it has been, uh, we've gotten, the foundation has gotten good exposure through the film and through the interest in Jack and, and through another generation uh, who suddenly know more about the, the past. And I think that's the learning that goes into this. What I took away from the movie, and you sat in the stands and you heard these taunts from fans and Jackie's on the field and he hears the taunts from the fans and that, crazy manager in the other dugout yelling and screaming. How did you guys deal with that? Well, uh, as a matter of fact, it wasn't that we had to deal with that only in the ballpark. We had to deal with that in our living arrangements. There were places during that time when, particularly in the South where we went for spring training, where we couldn't be seated to eat, where we would have worry about our, our accommodations. So it was a part of the era. Uh, and um, for us, it was a challenge, and it was uh, an important challenge. We had to be together to understand that we had to meet this challenge, and we had to do something about it. And so there was a, a goal for us in it as well. Was there ever a time Jackie would come home and say, I can't take it anymore. I'm just going to explode? Never once. Really? Never once. He, he could come home angry about something that happened. And what he would do is, because we had another understanding that home was a haven. So instead of coming into the house angry and started yelling at everybody, he would go off and hit golf balls at a, at a driving range Holy. near the house. And then he'd come back and he's ready to you know, sit down and be himself. But it was hard to uh, control your emotions, but it was important to control them. So how, what was it in his constitution? Because that was important to Branch Rickey that he had the right candidate to break the color barrier, mm -hmm. but also one who wasn't going to lash out and get angry. And uh, what was it about Jackie's I think it goes back to his mother, Mally, who was a sharecropper in Georgia when he was born and, and at the early stages of his life. And Mally was a very strong woman, a very opinionated person, and she just wasn't going to take it anymore. And she picked up her four children and moved to California, moved into an interracial neighborhood, and uh, taught uh, a lot about uh, having uh, commitments, having discipline, and having a way of uh, overcoming some of the things, uh, attacks that are coming to you. She had good ways to do that. It's all about mom. <laughs> tell, tell me what the foundation is doing. The foundation is doing fabulous. Uh, we were incorporated in 1973. 
We have graduated 1,400 students. We have over 200 in school this year. We have a 98% graduation rate, Fabulous. which is double the national average. And our program is a very, not just giving them money and wishing them well, it is really giving them money for their tuition, but also giving them an in-depth program for personal development and to help them develop their leadership potential. So it's a program that has depth and has meaning and has a lot of emphasis on their growth. Uh, we really want to put them out there. And they're graduating and getting jobs. That's great. Does it concern you that they played a World Series and there was not one African-American starter and that the number of blacks playing baseball has decreased over the years. It's now just 8.5 percent, where in the 90s it was 19 percent. Mm -hmm. It does concern me. It does concern me that uh, that we have we are still dealing with uh, discrimination in, of, of all really? kinds, and uh, and other factors. There are a lot of factors that feed into those numbers, but the fact that we haven't been able to identify and attract African Americans is a problem, I believe. And it's not just in baseball, it's in the professions. I know, and I remember you said this to President Clinton, I'm sure you've told other presidents that the job is not done. Job is not, is not done, yeah. no. And uh, with President Obama in place and looking at the question of diversity in our society, uh, I think we, we may make some, some big steps, I hope we do. My favorite quote is that Babe Ruth changed baseball, but Jackie Robinson changed America. Uh, and Rachel was right I love that. Me. Thank you. Great to see you, Rachel. Thank you.